Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim. Today I'm doing a movie review for a TV movie, Monster High 2. I know, you're like, Jim, you're a 52-year-old man. Why are you watching a high school of monsters movies? Uh, simple answer is I like it. That's I like Wednesday. I liked Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Monster High fits in there. I am also a fan of High School Musical, so there you go. So Monster High would be like the Monsterverse version of like a High School Musical. Um, if you're not familiar with the toy line of the Monster High dolls, uh, we've done some stuff on the channel before. It's been a little while, but um, I did watch Monster High, the first movie last year, and I did enjoy that, and it uh, made me want to see what what's up with the characters. So this is an action adventure fantasy. It's not necessarily considered horror, although all of the characters are created based on horror iconic monsters like Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula, etc., the mummy, like all of the different horror uh, monsters and, and icons are represented in some form by a teenage high schooler. Um, as they enter sophomore year at Monster High, Claudine Wolf, Draculaira, and Frankie Stein face new students, new powers, and an even bigger threat that could not only tear their friendships apart, <laughs> uh, but could change the world forever. This is directed by Todd Holland, who also co-wrote with Billy Eddy and Matt Eddy. The main characters are Natasha Legaro as Skelet. Frankie Stein, Cece Balagat, uh, who's actually one of my favorite characters. Steve Valentine, who you will recognize, plays Dracula. Mila Harris, Claudine Wolf, who is like the main character in the movie. Uh, let's see. Uh, Draculaira is played by Naya Damason. And Tora Lee Stripe, Tora Lai Stripe, Selena Quarashi, and she's the new character. And new powers are uh, created through all this. Cleo Denial, also played by Ja Prishkulnik. Man, I'm butchering names. It's a, it's a bad deal. Marcy T. House, also recognizable adult actress, uh, plays headmistress Bloodgood. And um, it's, this is a fun family movie. This is the, like that gateway horror film that you can watch with your little kids. They're not going to get freaked out. They're not going to get scared, uh, but they're going to get exposed to, you know, classic monsters. Uh, the basic story of this, I won't go into too many spoilery areas. Um, and this is a musical too, you know, fair warning, trigger warning. If you don't like random outbursts of singing in the middle of sequences of action or non-action, um, the the witchcraft world wants to eliminate the monster verse world and there's interesting witchcraft lore uh revealed in this movie which is really really nice um i'm a fan of witchcraft and the history of witches and burning of witches and the whole stigma about being a witch uh, that's played on very, very, I think, accurately and also very creatively. And then it also brings the, uh, it, it maybe not the whole monster verse, but it's Dracula, the, the main actual Dracula versus witch. So you have a, you know, witch versus Dracula and the witch takes it out through the kids. And if you don't know, Claudine Wolf is a mix between a werewolf and a human. So that's like the first movie's uh, theme was how to integrate Claudine into a monster high when she's in reality um, half and half. So speaking of Claudine, right now, uh, in a minute or two, we're going to actually open up this Claudine Wolf locker box, um, the Skultimate Secrets Monster High. There's uh, 19 secrets. I've been trying to decide whether or not I actually wanted to open this or not, but we're going to do that right after I finish this review. Uh, let me look at my notes. Um, oh yeah, there's a Grim Reaper. Uh, there's lots of witch history with Salem witch trials. I already mentioned that. 
Um, friends need friends, and friends stand up for each other, and you have to stand up for yourself and accept everyone. That's like the moral uh, story. Of course, the good guys win. Of course, the Monster High characters all <clears throat> triumphant. But of course, cliffhanger ending, so stay tuned. Uh, this was on Paramount Plus, by the way. It's a Nickelodeon. Uh, if you are looking for this film, if you have Paramount Plus, you can watch this. And you can get Paramount Plus for free with your Walmart Plus uh, membership. Um, you're welcome, Walmart. So let's transition to the other part of my studio. And we're going to pop this open and see what goodies are inside. Probably a bunch of clothing. And I'm going to guess a doll. All right, so we are back. I've got the doll. This is uh, a very well taped uh, display. So I did the liberty of untaping it. And we will see um, what is inside the coffin locker. One thing the movie does is a great job of using the shape of a coffin. Um, everybody has their like phones. Um, are in the shape of the thing and here we go here's here's claudine and she is very well uh taped or uh, she's got the those little bands so that's going to be annoying maybe we'll leave her in there for now but as you can see this would be what the locker looks like and this is actually the shape of the lockers in the movie and each one of these uh, has a lock. These are all locked and the key looks like it might be right here If I can get this out It's all they have those little bands. So here's the first key and the object is to I think it's a mystery what order the keys will be in But here is The key number one. So we'll check these all and see which one. Aha, it was the gold door. And then we will have some mystery accessories in here. And the key to one of the next doors. So we've got like this little bow thing uh, and a boot it's a boot no I didn't just turn Canadian it's a boot and we have the next key this is very riveting entertaining stuff here I bet you didn't know you were going to get to uh, enjoy this if you stayed with me Let's check. Nope. Let's check this one. Nope. So it's going to be this top. Now this is um, a doll that I got on clearance at Walmart. Um, I don't collect these. Um, and they are already on their next wave of these. So these are last year's models there's the key and looks like we've got some jacket we've got claudine's fur lined jacket and oh a skirt how pretty and uh looks like another skirt Or it's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. So we've got one outfit there. There's 19 total surprises in this coffin. And you can create 125 different looks. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you are fans of Monster High. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, I had it. There we go. 
the next bag is quite a big one. I love mystery bags and, and unboxings of these types. I do a lot of mystery box unboxings on my other channel, the JLA member channel. Here is Claudine's bucket hat, and it's got little holes for her her ears to come out. Uh, looks like a some sort of a necklace, maybe. And the last key. Oh wait, there's more in here. Looks like maybe two little earrings, maybe moons. All right, and the final compartment in the locker. There we go. What's inside? A dog bone. I'm guessing that's a sandwich, maybe? A peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And we've got a little water bottle. And a little, maybe a snack or a purse. I don't know. Maybe this is the cell phone. But that's it. That's going to do it for this uh, high, sc uh, high School Musical. Monster High 2 movie review and Monster High Skultimate Secrets Claudine Wolf Locker Reveal. Leave some comments down below. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you.